Uh, good evening. Thank uh, you. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, address you on this issue. Uh, I am opposed to SB 54, and I would urge the council to go on record in favor of what the federal government is asking us to do and join the other cities that uh, also plead that way. The primary reason that I agree with this is that uh, I believe in law, rule of law and constitution. I believe in also doing morally what is the right thing to do. And I believe that our legislature and our governor and other officials should do the same. When uh, sheriffs and government officials take an oath, they pledge to obey the rules of the law of the land, not just wherever their city is. For California to go against the federal government the way it's doing, uh, it's really, it's unlawful. And I'm urging that we opt out or support the federal government stand in this. There's a lot of things going on about uh, fake news <laughs> about the statistics with the crime. I've been to several uh, meetings with candidates for sheriff, and the reports that I get do not agree with that. And if you look at what happened to Kate Steinle, and other citizens across the land. You bring in drunk drivers. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and uh, I'm a second generation here. My grandfather came from uh, Barbados, Trinidad. My other, on the other side, my grandparents came from Montserrat. They came through Panama. They came in legally. I lived in New Orleans. I lived, in, I'm from Boston originally. And we, we know the dealings with the Irish and the, the uh, other people that came in. Many of these people came in, the husband came first to get work, he brought the family later. So this issue of separating families is, you know, why should other people get a privilege that many of us who came to this land did not get? We came in the right way. And that's the way everybody should come in. And they should contribute to our society. So I urge you to support the law of the land and support what uh, biblically should be done. We open with prayer. And those are two things I support. Thank you very much, Ryan. Good evening, everyone. As someone who happens to be a first generation US citizen, bilingual, Spanish and English, the son of Spanish-speaking immigrants, and a public speaker about diversity and inclusion oh, at Fortune 100 companies around, around the world. I can clearly state that this discussion is not, nor should be, about race, DACA, immigration, whether legal or illegal immigration, but it should be about secession, the rule of law, and the fact that U.S. federal law is the law of the land. Respectfully, despite the views of several people, including aspiring politicians to city council, I am in support of the proposed resolution, as I believe the city of Santa, Santa Clarita would be exercising the very will of the people. <coughs> Protecting our rights as citizens of these United States against the backdrop of overzealous state politicians willing to subvert the very document that grant us this liberty and freedom to assemble today to discuss this very matter, the U.S. Constitution. The basic premise that the state of California can subvert the laws of these United States is extremely dangerous and foolhardy. We must recognize that in regards to federal law, in this specific case, immigration law, and the execution and enforcement thereof. The United States Constitution has preserved those rights to the US federal government and not to the states. Under our federal system, as many people have already quoted, the Supremacy Clause, which is part of Article 6, Clause 2 of the Constitution, is the cornerstone of our dear Constitution. 
And it clearly states, this Constitution and the laws of the United States which shall be made in pursuance there, thereof, and all treaties made of which shall be made under the authority of the United States, shall be the supreme law of the land. And the judges in every state shall be bound thereby anything in the Constitution or laws of any state to the contrary notwithstanding. Further, James Madison, one of our founding fathers, in the Federalist Papers number 44 wrote, the power to make all laws which shall be necessary and proper for carrying into the execution the foregoing powers and all of the other powers vested by this Constitution in the government of the United States or any department of officer thereof. So rightly or wrongly, and regardless of our personal opinions and desires, time and again, the United States Supreme Court has ruled that U.S. federal law is supreme. And today, as this foolhardy effort is being made by the state of California, the Supreme Court will, if this case should reach its doors, rule in favor of the U.S. federal government. That's right. Yeah. Yeah.